Pakistan's judiciary and intelligence agencies remain at odds. In the latest Islamabad High Court, judges have urged the Supreme Court Judicial Council to organize a judicial convention. They are alleging interference of members of the executive, including operatives of intelligence agencies in judicial affairs. In a letter addressed to the SJC, six Islamabad High Court judges have sought guidance from the council over the alleged interference. The letter reads, and I'm going to quote it here, we are writing to seek guidance from the Supreme Judicial Council, the SJC, with regard to the duty of a judge to report and respond to actions on part of members of the executive, including operatives of intelligence agencies that seek to interfere with the discharge of his or her official functions and qualify as intimidation, as well as the duty to report any such actions that come to his or her attention in relation to colleagues and or members of the courts that the high court supervises, quote unquote. Now, viewers, interestingly, the development comes just days after Pakistan's top court declared the removal of former IHC Justice Shokat Aziz Siddiqui illegal, directing that he may be, he may now be considered as a retired judge. The verdict noted that the SJC proceeded against Justice Siddiqui on the assumption that the truth or falseness of the allegations leveled by the former judge were irrelevant. It also noted that the SJC opined that Justice Siddiqui had failed to substantiate, independently corroborate, substantiate or prove the allegations levelled by him. The IHC judges in their letter noted that the Code of Conduct for Judges prescribed by SJC provides no guidance on how they must react to and or report incidents that are tantamount to intimidation and interfere with judicial independence. The judges further said that they believe it is imperative to inquire into and determine whether there exists a continuing policy on the part of the executive branch of the state to meddle in judicial affairs.